Hey guys, happy Friday! It's awesome, awesome, awesome! It's a little bit dark outside, isn't it? I'm over at the Gap and there's like a massive thundercloud coming over again. Love this kind of weather, it just makes me feel like I'm all mm, loved up. I feel like I want to have a soup. Maybe it's just because I'm detoxing. <laughs> How's everybody going today? Hey Tamara, hello, hello! So today I'm going to have a talk. Has it, how have you enjoyed hearing about the other four, three health types we've gone through? So we've gone through, hey Tony! So I've gone through Guardians, Diplomats, Crusaders. We're now going to do Activators. So have you resonated with any of the other health types that I've spoken about? I'd love to hear if you have or have not. Or who do you know? Do you know like an auntie, an uncle, a cousin, a best friend who resonates with that health type? So onwards we go. And today we're talking about the Activators. Now these guys are such a great duo. Like honestly, these guys are so much fun so uh, outgoing, so energetic, they're very fiery and I think they are, I adore them personally because they are probably my perfect match because us diplomat health types, we're very slow and steady and quite often we can ruminate, we can overthink about things whereas when we have an activated best friend, I've activated best friends like just do some activity, just get it done, just do something. So before I forget, I wanted to bring in probably the cutest um, why I love Guardian uh, Activators myself is because if you think of, and we're going to jump straight into superheroes, I'm going to cut through and just, just quickly jump to this one while I've got it up. So if you think of the best duo in superheroes we've ever seen would be Batman and Robin. So Batman was a diplomat and Robin was an activator. The perfect combination. Can you guys like see the contrast there on the two different health types? Brilliant. Genius. I thought it was a perfect way of sharing with you guys a little bit of the understanding of what the different health types are and uh, and how they interact the best together. So if you want to think about our activators there, uh, I have the cats put up above in the uh, description. I've just shown you a picture of a cat. And the reason why it is a cat is because they're more slinky. They're very agile. They're very fast paced, very fast thinking and very analytical. They can be a little bit judgmental, like they'll sit back on their perch and they'll watch and they'll suss you out before they approach. Um, and I guess there's a lot of feline characteristics that they definitely can hold. Uh, they can be very playful like a cat. They can also be rather, um, I've also heard my partner doesn't like cats. I love them. My partner doesn't like cats and that's because he said they're too like self-centered-ish. And it's not that they're self-centered, it's more the fact that they're self-sufficient. They want what they want, they'll get what they want and they'll do what they want. That's it. So our activators are, um, a very reactive health type. They're the health type that just get in and they want things, they do things, and they, funnily enough, they kind of learn like by pain. You know, they'll run at the brick wall, then they'll be like, oh, wait, I should have thought about that and calculated some things. Uh. So um, I love activators. They are so much fun. So in the workplace, in the workplace, if you were to find an activated health type, they're the sort of person that's like probably the, the jokester of the group, uh, a little bit of a, a menace in the group, Dennis the menace kind of thing. Um, and our activators are quite often, no, I'll get that to that afterwards. So in the workplace, they're the ones that can be a little bit distracted. They might be rather agitated with constantly being at everybody else's deadlines. They're always looking for a way to make things into a challenge. So the best way to get an activator to do things is to challenge them. But if they're not being challenged, they will challenge other people. They will find something to make into a creative challenge. In fact, one of my clients in the last, um, six week self evolution group, uh, I said to her, you need to drink more water. And so her entire family made it a challenge to see who could drink the most water. Very activatorish of her, which I love. In relationships, our activators are the ones that can be a little bit fiery and very passionate, um, but can be rather sporadic in some terms, in some terms. They still want honest, decent connection, quite empathic really, but they, they do want things to be a variety. Variety is their greatest uh, passion, greatest sense of like liveliness is that they need to have variety and change because if they get into the too much of the uh, monotonous, boring rig rig rigmarole, they end up getting uh, agitated and they'll find things to distract themselves, which can sometimes be kind of detrimental to certain aspects of a uh, relationship. So understanding your beautiful health type friend and uh, if you are this kind of person, maybe having the greater conversations with your partners and your relationships and your family and being like, you know what, when I say things, and this we hear this all the time, 
you will hear someone who's dating a activator or around an activator in a workplace and they'll be like the activator will just be like blah, 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 blah. this is how I'm thinking this is what I'm feeling and they will just blurt it out like a guns blazing and they'll be over it they're done once they've said it they're finished whereas everybody else especially like the ecto endomorphs like myself um we're more we'd be sit there and we'd be like oh shit what have I done oh no and then we go and ruminate on it and we go and think about it and we'd fester up this big freaking headache of a thought but when you come back to then face the activator about what they said you're kind of going hey last week when you said blah 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 I felt the la la and they're going what do you want about I wasn't even pissed off I was just telling you what I was thinking I was just sharing what I'm feeling like why did you make that into such a big thing like I was done and finished with it so they're very fiery and impulsive and they're reactive that when they're done they're done another thing is when an activator starts speaking they they need to be heard right then and there their ideas what they're thinking and feeling needs to come out right there uh, in that moment or else they'll lose themselves so you want to make sure that when you hear someone who's an activator speaking you want to just hold space for them and allow them to let everything out cathart everything um, because they will then feel heard, they will then felt received and then they will be more in tune to have a greater conversation with you. But if you cut them off and block them, they're going to get the shits and cut you out. So that's relationships and work for an activator health type. Movie character we've already gone through. So it was like Batman's a Diplo, uh, Batman Robin is an activator, perfect little one. Or even Catwoman for the ladies. Arr. Perfect analogy. Catwoman is totally a uh, an activator because she's a the minx, the cat, but also her body type, very um, agile, lean, uh, quick reflexes, all of that. Like these guys are the most many athletes of this health type. Um, so then we go into the school. So in school, our activated health types were the ones that were rebellious. Sadly, in today's society, and this is something we would love to see change, is far too many children are classed as ADHD or ADHD, A, what a fudge, stuff that up. Anyway, are classed as being the, the child that is disruptive. But it's more that they learn in a different way. It needs to be short attention span. So like short burst, short activity, short burst, short activity, brain, move, brain, move. And they do that in a lot of parts of their life, uh, work included. So these are the kids that don't like being told what to do either. Um, they are rebellious, but they are fun, energetic. They may be the kind of people that will think about something and react bleh, and say something they don't necessarily mean because they don't think about what they're saying. They just say it. So I hope that sort of has helped some parents, some people in schools right now, um, some teachers. We're actually looking at some really exciting projects around schools at the moment. But understanding that so many people are diagnosing their children because they won't sit in a class for hours on end and do all the monotonous tasks. They just want to be playing. So it's taking them to a space where they can be taught, where it's like short burst and then rest and play or whatever it might be. They have to eat frequently when we're coming into food habits. These guys are the natural grazers. The activated health type needs to be given food. Have you heard of the saying hangry? Who out there listening to this, give me a replay, a hashtag, a wave. If you get hangry, these guys are the epitome of getting hangry. Like if these guys are pissed off, give them food first on like a stick, like a really long stick where you don't get too close to them. Give them some food and then uh, and then try and reapproach them. Um, so the food habits are that they are able to eat frequently, but they have to eat smaller frequent meals. They don't do well with excessive sugars. They don't do well with excessive um, grains and carbohydrates in that sense. They're actually the lucky ones that are designed to have the most meat. So dare I say, almost keto, almost paleo, and yet you need the carbohydrates. I can't stress that enough. Mm. They're the only ones that can go close enough to being keto or paleo, but they need the freaking carbs. Your brain, your muscles, how you act, you need carbohydrates. So please don't ever tell me any of you are doing paleo carb or um, keto or any of it. It's just not for the longevity. Then we come into typical money stories. These guys are the ones that are like, spend it. I'll find a way to make it. I'll just spend it and have the fun now. I want everything now. I don't want to wait for anything. I want it all to be mine. So these guys, their spending habits can be a bit erratic, a little bit erratic. Some of them are good. Like, honestly, I'm not boxing anyone, but some of them, some of them are really good. But many of them are like, thing, shiny, love, have. Right? 
Then we come into the language. <laughs> the perfect thing when I first started out, I was talking to a client and I was like, how do you feel about blah, 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 blah. And if you feel like this, and she's like, I don't get what you mean. And I was like, oh, sorry. I mean, what do you want to do about this situation? How could we make a challenge? What's a goal that we could go and get it and have fun and create it and have it be full of all the variety that you need? Get it? These guys are all about the do. They're not about the think. They're not about the feel. They're about the do. That's their language. Um, I think I've done everything. Do you resonate with an activator? Give me a holler. As you're watching the replay, let me know. Do you feel like you resonated with the, the crusader that I did? The diplomat, the guardian, the activator? Ooh. Who do you feel like you resonate with? Isn't this like really cool how you can understand all the different concepts and how we are showing up in life? And when we start to educate people about all these different areas and all these different health types, that we take away judgment, we take away expectation, we take away, away criticism, we enable ourselves to have greater acceptance of each other's drivers, passions, purpose, and our weaknesses. And we can start to work together and understand that we are all genius at something. And we're all quite limited in certain aspects. There's no right or wrong. It's more about creating a space for everyone to understand their individual health types. Hey guys, jumping in now, make sure you jump back and watch some of the replays of these that I've done each day. I'd love to hear if you resonate with the activator, the diplomat, the crusader, um, and the guardian. I've done four so far. We've got two more to go. Um, and they will be over the weekend. So we've still got connectors and we still have our sensors. So I'll be doing those over the weekend. Yes. And um, I think you're all going to really love this information. I'd love to hear if you're resonating with it, uh, which one you think you might be. And uh, let's have greater conversations. This is so much fun to me. So I love that you're all here. I love that you're all sharing this. And I love that you're all commenting. And um, yeah, just keep being awesome, guys. Know that you are amazing just as you are. You may just not quite know your hidden genius that's within you. Maybe you've let society, expectations, and obligations overrule your magic. Wouldn't it be great to come back to knowing that you are existing in your perfect state? Amazing. Have a great one, guys.